What's up, folks? Carolina Jackpot Time checking in. Quick recap of my week four college football picks and predictions from the weekend of 9 23, 2017. Carolina Jackpot's picks and predictions where we are picking 20 college football games every week against the spread and seeing how we do. We're a little bit more successful this week than we were in week three, but let's see how everything fared out. <clears throat> getting a late, uh, you're doing this kind of late this week. Um, I may like to try to do this on Sunday and have a chance, but today's Tuesday evening. We're getting it up. Uh, South Florida and Temple played last Thursday, picked South Florida to cover the spread. They did so easily at home. Uh, Utah on the road at Arizona, they did cover that 3.5 point spread. UMass at Tennessee, I picked you, uh, volunteers to cover the spread there. And uh, they definitely did not do that. They only won that game by four points. It didn't look too impressive at home. We got a big test coming up this week. Um, Georgia could be rough at home. Uh, West Virginia on the road to Kansas, 22 point <coughs> favorites. Pitt and recover the spread, and they did. Barely. They covered it. They won by 22, actually. Uh, UNLV. On the road at Ohio State, actually got this one wrong. Picked Ohio State to cover the spread, and they did not. They only won that game by 33 points, which I thought was strange. Don't think they really uh, put out a lot in that one. Texas A&M versus the uh, Arkansas Razorbacks, one of the most entertaining games, if not the most, of the uh, weekend. They had to go to overtime to do it, but they did cover the spread against the Razorbacks, winning 50-43. to 43 in uh, Jerry Jones Cowboys Stadium. The Aggies with the win. Did pick North Carolina State to cover the spread at Florida State, and they did so and won that game straight up. FSU got a lot of work to do. Old Dominion at Virginia Tech, 27.5 favorites were the Hokies. Pit them to cover the spread. They did so, won 38 nothing, and shut out the Old Dominion Monarchs. Cle uh, Clemson and Virginia Tech are going to hook it up in Blacksburg this coming Saturday night. That'll be the biggest game uh, to hit Lane Stadium in years. The place should be rocking. What an atmosphere for college football it's going to be on Saturday night in Blacksburg. Uh, that, my lock, stock, and two smoking barrels pick of the week was... Uh, Maryland to cover the uh, three and a half point spread against Central Florida, and uh, I bombed. And you can see I put up there my comment. Wow, I bombed on that one. UCF uh, thirty-eight to ten over Maryland. I didn't realize Maryland was on like their seventh string quarterback. They still have a problem with that. I, I remember they were in the ACC. Uh, they played Clemson one year, and they had like. Uh, like, their fifth-string quarterback got hurt, and, like, they played Clemson in Death Valley. Seriously, was like uh, a former linebacker starting at quarterback. Just crazy, crazy. But UCF with the big win. Uh, Wake Forest at Appalachian State uh, actually picked Wake to cover the five-point spread in Kid Brewer Stadium, and uh, they couldn't do it. Uh, it took a uh, blocked field goal. And they won that game by one, damn it, by one point. So, uh, Appalachian State, uh, pretty impressive performance, but uh, couldn't quite get it done. Toledo was at Miami, picked Miami to cover the spread. They did. Uh, won that game by about 20 points. A lot of people were picking out for an upset pick, but uh, I wasn't buying it. Hurricanes looking pretty impressive. Boston College at Clemson. Pit the Eagles to cover the spread, and they did. I figured Clemson would come out flat in this game, and uh, I was exactly right. They uh, historically don't play that great against Boston College at home. This year was no exception. Uh, I didn't expect it to be 7-7 going into the fourth quarter, though, but uh, I think Clemson was just kind of sleepwalking through that one. Uh, Kentucky and Florida, that was my break-the-streak game. Uh I actually did cover the spread there. I hit an X there at first, uh, but uh, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of drinking that night. So yeah, I thought I actually didn't uh, get that one, but I did cover the spread. Kentucky lost by a point to the Florida Gators. 
uh, game that uh, a lot of people I feel like they should have won that, uh, but we're not able to get it done. Auburn at Missouri, that one was incorrect. Um, uh, that was like what 52 to 17 or something, 51 to 14, maybe something crazy like that. I didn't think Auburn could score, but uh, evidently anybody could score against Missouri. They're just bad, they're just terrible. Uh, this one was my upset pick of the week. I picked Iowa to cover the spread against Penn State, and I picked that one as my possible upset. In fact, I went so far as to say I think Iowa was going to beat Penn State in Iowa City, and damn if they almost didn't. Took a touchdown pass on the last play of the game for Penn State to pull that one out, but we did get a check mark there because Iowa did cover the spread. TCU at Oklahoma State, I, along with everybody else believing in Oklahoma State, uh, didn't happen. Uh, defense got shredded. Duke at Carolina uh, were two and a half point favorites, and they did cover the spread as I predicted. One by 10, 27 17. Uh, this is a strange one. Oklahoma at Baylor uh, couldn't cover the spread against the uh, Baylor Bears. Looks like they've found some kind of semblance in the offense, but. Uh, they're terrible. Uh, Mississippi State at Georgia. <laughs> Picked the Bulldogs to cover that spread, and they did so easily. Very impressive win. 31-3 in Sanford Stadium against uh, the fighting Nick Fitzgeralds. And Notre Dame at Michigan State, they're four-point four favorites. Picked them to cover the spread, and they won by 18. So... Finished off the weekend with a 13 and 7 record. Not too bad. Uh, this coming weekend is going to be much tougher, in my opinion. I always thought that these things got easier to pick as the season went on. But the more and more I do it, the harder and harder it gets. There's some hard ones this week to pick. Um, and there's some good games this coming weekend. There's some big games, a few rivalries. Georgia Tennessee play this weekend. You got Alabama and Ole Miss. I don't think that's going to be a close game, though. Uh, who else? Clemson, Virginia Tech. That's going to be the big one this weekend uh, in this part of the country anyway. So stay tuned for more Carolina Jackpot picks and predictions. We'll get those out sometime tomorrow, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Peace. And I'm out.